Hey, what is up guys? It is Phantom here and welcome back to a brand new video everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be bringing all of you my top 10 death spells in Wizard 101. So obviously I did this same video a little while ago on my Fire Wizard and the next school I am definitely most familiar, familiar with and most comfortable with is going to be the School of Death. So today I'm bringing you guys my top 10 favorite death spells in the game. Obviously there are a ton of spells and it was really hard to just pick 10 that I liked, especially because Death School is my second favorite school to play now, honestly. And you know what, I feel like I've become pretty, pretty, I don't know, experienced with these spells so to speak. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the first one. Coming in at number 10, everyone, we have the spell Scarecrow. Oh my gosh, what a classic. Okay, so really, it's an interesting story behind me and Scarecrow because we, we have an interesting relationship, all right? So for a while, I didn't actually like Scarecrow very much. I thought the damage output was like super low and I thought it just wasn't worth like the seven pips, really. And the healing was nice, of course, especially if you were attacking multiple enemies, but really the damage wasn't enough for me, but then it, as I got better at the death school and as I bladed up more and just got better gear overall, Scarecrow I realized could actually be a really really good spell. Not only just for like damage, if you I mean obviously you have to blade up a lot because the, the damage output is definitely on the lower side for 7 pips, but once you blade up a lot and let's say you're low health and everything, you could just leech off every enemy. And it's actually a really sexy spell because of that. So I like it now. I really didn't used to like it just because of the damage, you know, I, I couldn't get past that for a while. But then I realized it's honestly a pretty versatile spell that could be used quite a bit and actually be pretty useful, like in questing, mostly. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Scarecrow. Coming in at the number 9 spot, everyone, we have Skeletal Dragon, and oh my god, is this spell good. And, you know, honestly, I realized that I didn't actually use it that much. When I look back at all the death spells again to just, you know, look at the ones that I wanted to choose for this video, I realized I hadn't used Skeletal Dragon, like, really since I'd gotten it, which was, like, level 58, I believe. But, honestly, between, like, the animation, which is just awesome, <laughs> as you can see, and just the absolute damage output actually makes it a really, really nice spell. Obviously, it's not the best for if, like, you want to trap someone, you know, because, like, the first initial hit isn't that strong. But over time, this is a fucking beast who can just do massive amounts of damage. And I wish I used it more. I really do. But there are a lot of spells that are better alternatives. But for, you know, for, for the time, I suppose, for the time that it was released, Skeletal Dragon is actually a really, really good spell and has tremendous value, seriously. Coming up next is going to be the spell Wraith. And oh my god, I remember the first time I saw the spell Wraith, I was absolutely blown away because I had no idea that a spell like this just existed before. And seeing it honestly was just super badass and I just still have the memory today. I was in the haunted cave and I believe I was grinding, I was, I believe I was grinding field guards for some reason for like XP because I couldn't, you know, pay to get into the next area. So that's what I would do for XP. And I remember someone just casting this and I was just like, oh my God, you know, like wh what's he doing? <laughs> Such a classic and yeah that happened and I remember he did like I remember he bled it up a bit too So he did like over 2,000 damage and up until that point I had never really seen that much damage done or this spell at all And I was just like like my, the little kid in me was just absolutely blown away now I'm not saying Wraith is really the best spell. I mean, it's it's okay like six pips for 500 damage You get you know half the healing back. It's all right You know I, I could see why a death would use this at the appropriate level that they get it, but Obviously, you know, it's kind of went out of style, but it will never go out of style in my heart, so to speak, because I got a lot of memories with it, especially that first time I saw it. It's just never going to get out of my head. It's just an extremely badass spell, and I will keep loving it. I just realized I don't have any attack spells in my deck, so I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this lost soul, but coming up next is going to be the spell Bad Juju. Let's just, let's just cast it here. I'm pretty sure most people know what this spell does. Obviously, you take a little bit of damage in the process, but oh man, what, what comes out of it is is pretty strong it's a minus 90 it's a minus 90 weakness and ov obviously this spell you know has since been nerfed in quotes because in pvp i believe i think it takes around here if i can look at the spell again i think it takes around a quarter of your health yeah okay it takes away yeah okay it takes away a quarter of your health in pvp and then of course minus 90 to the enemy so they had to nerf it quite a bit and have it take away like a lot of health and oh I just realized you can't enchant it but yeah they had to take away you know some of its like or they had to add some damage to it obviously because it was really really strong and it still is strong I'm not really sure if it's useful in PvP anymore 25% health loss seems to be really really extreme so I don't think it's that useful in PvP right now but honestly for big boss fights such as I don't know I believe the Titan's Trident as well as maybe the Devourer like uh, you need a bad Juju or you need a Death Wizard 
Preferably, you know, Jade with bad juju. It's just like an extremely strategic card, and even though it's not that useful in PvP today, in PvE, there are still a lot of instances where you could use this, and it will just turn the tide of battle. So that's why I like bad juju so much. It's just really, really st strategic, and it's like something more than just flat damage. So yeah, that's why I like- that's why I put it on the list. Oh my god, this spell, though, if it gets casted on you, man, is it annoying. It is- <laughs> it is the absolute worst. Let's just do it one more time here. Oh man, truly an epic spell. Definitely an epic spell. Really good for PvE. Not so good for PvP. But Bad Juju will always have a place in my heart. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Bad Juju there. Yeah, zero damage. Like, come on. Coming in at number six, everyone, is going to be Deathblade. And what can I say besides it is just the classic blade do more damage spell that you can always rely on, right? You can always rely on in every single battle, except for the ones, of course, that don't allow blades, but I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, it's definitely one of the most useful death spells, and I didn't want to put it super high on the list, though, just because it's a blade after all, and it's really, really boring. By the way, Vampire's not on the list, I just I just packed it so I could do some damage to the Lost Soul to actually complete the battle. Also, I don't know why, but whenever I'm in Unicorn Way, I get these really weird lag spikes, but man, just the difference without death blade versus with death, bla death blade is absolutely immense, and I will continue just loving this spell because it's just a blade, it's timeless, right? It's never gonna go out of style, because it's just- it's just a blade. How, uh, how could you go wrong with that? Anyway, that's really all I got for Deathblade. I had to put it on the list, though, just because of how much it's widely used by just every single wizard, and it's just- it's, yeah, it's just super useful overall. Like, there's no battle that will go without a Deathblade. Honestly. On my death. It's just- it's just the best, guys. It's just the best. Coming up next is Dr. Vaughn's Monster, and you guys might be a bit surprised, but I've used this spell so much on this wizard. I have used this spell so fucking much. It has been so useful to me. And sure, it- you know what? Actually, no. The damage is pretty good. A thousand, a thousand, and then you get your health back for only nine pips. That's actually not too bad, considering death has a little bit of a lower damage output. But man, I just remember using this, god, in Zafaria, Avalon, <laughs> Azteca was really widely used. And in Chrysalis for a little while, I used this as well, of course, until I got, you know, another spell that's on this list that just completely blew this out of the water in every way, shape, or form. But this has been one of my most widely used spells. It's super useful, it does a good amount of damage, and gives me my health back, and I can't tell you how many times this has just saved me in a battle where, let's say I use this on the minion, and I get a critical, maybe I have a blade on, and it just fully heals me, and I'm just ready to attack the boss. Like, those are those moments... Those are those moments with Dr. Vaughn where I just, mm, I just share something special with the spell, really. It's, it's super useful, and honestly, okay, 820 for 9 pips, that's like the true damage amount, of course. But, really, it's not bad. It's really, really not bad. Of course, that minus 25% healing, or whatever, that's, the eh, whatever. That doesn't, it doesn't really mean anything to me, but honestly, the flat damage is not bad, and the health that you get back for it has just saved me so many times, so I just have to put it here. For how many times I've just killed someone with it, or it's just saved my life in general. Now, I know what you might be thinking, Phantom, why would you put Sacrifice this high on the list? And let me tell you, okay? And I understand that once you get more critical and more damage as you go up in levels, this doesn't start to heal you as much because really you're just taking more damage than the health that is being given back to you. But here, let me just cast it there. But for the lower levels, I'm not gonna lie, this is an absolute godsend. It is an absolute godsend that has carried me through all the level, all the lower level worlds ever since I got it in like Crocotopia. I believe somewhere like near the Crocus Sphinx, you get it, and like obviously as you can see it only healed me like 500 there for 3 pips, which honestly is a death, just isn't really that worth it. But this has been, it has been an absolutely go absolute godsend for me. For just the le the levels that you, for the level that you get it at in Crocotopia, where you just don't have that much damage or any critical whatsoever, it actually heals you a fair amount, and honestly it can be useful really up until, gosh, I would say I use Sacrifice up until, let's see, Crocotopia, Marleybone, Mushu, Dragon Spire, even in Celestia I used it, and I think even in Zafaria I used it a little bit too. Seriously, like if you could just even like enchanting it with like a primordial or something like that, it's gonna do mass if your stats aren't that high. And for those lower level worlds, obviously I mean you don't get primordial, so that's kind of a kind of a bullshit argument there, but for those lower level worlds that you don't have as good of stats, this spell can actually heal you quite a bit and the trade-off can be absolutely worth it, in my opinion. Alright, up next we have an absolutely sick one. It is Headless Horseman. Oh my god, I remember when I first got this from the Halloween pack after just like 7k crowns, which honestly isn't even that much considering how much other people spend on packs going for certain spells. I got that after like 7k, and I was going for it as well, so that was absolutely awesome for me. And I gotta be honest, with this spell, I still use it today. I still use it because... 
the sheer amount of damage that it does just for four pips okay plus the spell animation is absolutely amazing just everything about this spell is awesome it's just a great spell in its own right but yeah it's also a very loud spell but for the damage oh my god it's so loud for the damage that it does like that's four pips like this spell is four pips that was with no blades no traps whatsoever i did critical i think but just like look at this 530 to 590 for four pips actually i'm wondering did they nerf that I feel like it used to be... Actually, no, I, I don't think they did. So 530 to 590 for 4 pips is just absolutely insane, and I still use it today just because of its low pip cost. It's actually really good to spam, even for bosses with super high health. It's definitely still useful, and if you blade up a bunch and it's only 4 pips, like, it, it's just really, really worthwhile, I feel like. And what, I remember when I got it, like, I, I got it as a low level death too, and I was just so hyped because, like, this spell is just amazing. If we, like, compare it to Skeletal Pirate, which is one pip more, does that amount of damage. And then just compared to Headless Horseman, four pips. Just an insane amount of more damage. It's just absolutely insane. It's an insane spell. And you know it's good when my level 108 death still uses it. And I know what you're thinking, that it might not be that worth it. But honestly, if you enchant it, and if you blade up a bit, for four pips, it's super good. It's super duper worth it. And I'm pretty sure it's also really good in PvP as well, even though I don't really do PvP. I've heard it's really broken there as well, and it's just a really, really good death spell overall. Some people might argue it's pay to win, but I'm pretty sure you can craft it nowadays. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I'm pretty sure you can craft it. And it's just helped me with questing so much, and I still use it today. And honestly, I don't think it will ever go out of style, because that low pip cost is just amazing, in my opinion. So I gotta leave it here. Alright, let's be honest, you knew this was gonna be on the list, and surprisingly, it's not at number one, but this is a- <laughs> this is a banger death spell. Let me just cast it real quick. I cannot tell you how many times I've just used Deer Knight on my death, let's be honest. I did end up crafting it, I remember, because from the Knight's Lore pack, which is where you get this spell, by the way, if you're choosing to open it from a pack, I didn't get it from the Knight's Lore pack, I think I got, like, the Storm or Ice one instead, I remember, and I was super mad because I got a spell and it wasn't Deer Knight. And I had to craft it. Eventually, I just gave up on opening that pack. And sure, you know, it, it definitely wasn't the easiest craft. I mean, I think you need a decent amount of amber as well as some blood moss. So it definitely wasn't the easiest craft. But honestly, it's so worth it. And I remember I got it at such a low level too. And the, how I did that was I just got friends to teleport me to the higher level worlds. So I could get the crafting quests and I could complete the crafting quests. And then eventually I would work my, my way up to, I believe it's like in Dundara or something like that. Or it's in the weird in Avalon where the vendor is. It's behind some some sort of sigil i'm not really sure i don't remember what his name is exactly but I, I worked my way up i bought the spell i think it was a decent amount of gold as well and i just finally crafted it and i got it at like level 30 something or something 30 something or something yeah i got it at level 30 or something like that <laughs> so it's just been really useful for me just this entire time i absolutely love it and i will continue to use it definitely to this very day because there is another spell at the number one spot on this list i think most of you know what it is but dear knight is, does really good damage, doesn't give any health back, but I think that'd be a bit too OP, probably, for no shadow pip, and I'm pretty sure I just gave away number one, so let's move there. Oh, finally, I got that shadow pip. Okay, <laughs> coming in at the numbers at one spot, everyone, sorry, my game just keeps freezing like that. I'm not really sure, it only happens in Unicorn Way, I swear, but coming in at number one, we have Call of Karulu, aka Lulu, aka the giant death penis in, in midair. Yeah, let's just cast it. This spell is overpowered, and it's just... <laughs> The animation, just the, the texturing, the damage, the health back, it's just every single, in every single aspect, this spell is superior. Like, I just did 4k to that guy for 5 pips, and I get 2k health back for healing, you know? And obviously I critical, which double damage and everything, but seriously, that spell is so OP. Lulu, I gotta put you at number one, just the sheer amount of damage, the health back, the five pips, of course you need a shadow pip, but like, come on, those aren't too hard to get nowadays, KI, please don't change PvE shadow pips, I did hear they were doing something about that, by the way, but, <sighs> Lulu, I, what do I say, what do I say, except you're just overpowered, and I hope they never nerf it, this is the best death spell, hands down, oh, I love it so much, I love it so much, just how it's carried me through so many battles with the healing, and the damage, that's really it, it's the healing and the damage. And of course, this spell is awesome looking as well. So that's gonna be it for this video, everyone. Hopefully you all did enjoy. If you did, you could leave a like down below or subscribe for more content like this in the future. I post videos pretty much all the time, pretty much daily with some live streams thrown in there just cause it's summer and I've got a ton of time to do cool stuff like this. So if you enjoyed, consider leaving a like or subscribing for more content like this. Anyways, that's gonna be all for me, everyone. See you guys in the next video. Take care and peace out.